friends, what's up? My name is Joss and welcome back to Squibbles Reads. The theme for the hidden gem books that I found today is suspenseful and creepy kind of stuff, but before we get into that, there are legit like no words to say how grateful and thankful that I am to have reached 1,000 subscribers here on booktube. I want to host a Q&A so y'all can get to know me better. We are going to use the hashtag squibblessquad one k There are two S's, one at the end of squibbles and one at the beginning of squad. You can ask me questions here in the comments below or on Twitter, use the hashtag anywhere, and if you're on Twitter, make sure you also tag me at SquibblesReads. I'll be answering all the questions that will go up in a video next Thursday, February 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, and the deadline for the questions will be this coming Tuesday, February 23rd, also at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. Just as a disclaimer, there are some questions about my school, work, personal life, credit card number, social security number that I will not be able to answer, so if I don't get to your question, definitely shoot me a DM and I will be happy to talk to you there. So so thank you, thank you again, and now let's get into some creepy books which are my absolute favorite. You guys probably know that I love a good existential contemporary, but the types of books that I always turn to when I need to pick me up are mysteries, thrillers, and kind of like dark offbeat kind of things. So here are some more suspenseful, creepier reads that I am reading right now, have read, or will be reading very soon. My first pick is a new release called Perfect Days by Rafael Montez. I'm waiting for this one to come in at my library because it just dropped two days ago on February 16th. Teo lives in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and he is a med school student. He's kind of a loner and keeps to himself except he finds himself comforted in the presence of cadavers that they use in his anatomy classes. He meets an aspiring screenwriter whose name is Clarice and he becomes obsessed with her and when she rejects him he kidnaps her and takes her on this road trip around the country. All the reviews I've read are nothing but positive so I'm very stoked for this to come in at my library. And my next pick is a book called The Vegetarian by Han Kong who is a female Korean author. And for this book I did receive a free arc from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review. It's a shorter work around 200 pages and is split up into three parts. The first part is narrated by Mr. Cheong, who is Young Hee's husband. It's written with a lot of misogynist undertones. Young Hee chooses to be a vegetarian and this really rattles his beliefs. She even refuses intimacy because she claims that he smells like meat. The final two parts are written from different perspectives and delve into Young Hee's life before she got married. While I was reading this book, it kind of reminded me of the short story The Yellow Wallpaper. Just in that the descriptions are so vivid that they really evoke like a full five senses experience. I'm almost done with it and it is a quick read, but it made me think in terms of food, marriage, and mediocrity in the context of Korean culture, and also in the dark slash horror-esque genre. Next we have Delicate Monsters by Stephanie Keen. It's about a 70-year-old girl named Sadie who just got kicked out of boarding school for almost killing someone, and now she has moved back home. This guy Emerson is not very happy about it and he is a person that used to know her when she was a kid. He has a brother named Miles who can kind of have visions into the future and can see violent acts that are going to take place at school in the future. This book depicts a lot of these gory violent things that actually do happen and what really stood out to me is the descriptions of the cold, callous, calculated nature of sociopathic behavior. It's also a shorter read around 250 pages but definitely worth it. And my fourth pick is Creep by Jen for Hillier and it was introduced to me by Rachel at the Shades of Orange, suggesting it to people who enjoyed You by Caroline Kepnes. It's about Sheila, who is a professor who is engaged to Morris, an ex-football player. She's been having an affair with her grad student, Ethan, for three months. At the very beginning of the book, she breaks off the affair with Ethan, and they also learn that one of her undergrad students that she previously taught had been murdered. Ethan is not very happy with Sheila breaking up with him, and he becomes absolutely obsessed with her. The book goes through that ordeal plus the mystery of the murder. I'm about three quarters of the way through. I am almost done, and it was definitely a slow burn. I felt like the first hundred pages, nothing really too much happened, but once I got to about 40%, it really took off, and it really did get very creepy. And my final pick is The Mystery of Hollow Places by Rebecca Podos. It's about Imogene who is 17 and her dad was a forensic pathologist. When he was younger he met Imogene's mom who presented as a distressed woman who came in to identify a body. The mom later ran away when Imogene was a baby. So flash forward and her dad is now a published author and he mysteriously vanishes one day and they suspect that he has gone in search of her mom. This book examines depression, feminism, and victim shaming in female adolescents and also features a great social support network for Imogene. So I did want to also give a shout out to a lovely booktuber as I did in my previous Hidden Gems video and this time I'm going to feature Denise from Denise Marie Books. She is kind and sad 
sassy and thoughtful. She reads both YA and adult fiction. She's introduced me to some new books in the adult romance genre and also some books that have a historical setting that I've never heard of before. I always appreciate her summaries of these books and I think that she is an amazing new booktuber so I will leave a link to her channel in the down bar below. So that is it for this video. Please leave me a question for my Q&A on Twitter or down in the comments below using the hashtag squad one k and look out for the answers video next Thursday, February 25th at 8pm Eastern. If you've read any of these books that I've mentioned, please let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!